Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and let's have this topic. So finding the inverse, the domain, and range of irrational functions. So we have this given rational function. So first, we need to find the domain. Since on this given rational function, there is no variable in the denominator. So therefore, the domain from negative infinity to positive infinity or set of all real numbers or we can write this one as the set of all x such that x are the elements of the real numbers. Then to find the inverse, these are the steps. So first, we need to replace f of x with y. So this f of x becomes y then equals 2x minus 5 over 4. Then interchange x and y. So this y becomes x and this x becomes y then minus 5 over 4. Then to solve for new y, so using cross multiplication, so this one is over 1. So uh, 1 times 2y minus 5, this one is 2y minus 5 then equals this x times 4 this one is 4x then to solve for y so we have 2y transpose this negative 5 to the right so we have 4x plus 5 then to solve for y divide both sides by 2 so cancel so therefore y is equal to 4x plus 5 over 2. Then replace the new y with f to the power negative 1 of x. So we have now f to the power negative 1 of x or the inverse of this given function is equal to 4x plus 5 over 2. So this is now the inverse of this given rational function. Then to find the range from the inverse, since there is no variable in the denominator, so therefore the range from negative infinity to positive infinity or set of all real numbers. Then for this given, so first we need to find the domain. Since there is variable in the denominator, so we need to equate this denominator to zero. So we have x plus 4 equals 0, then to solve for x, so x is equal to negative 4. So therefore, if x is equal to negative 4, this denominator becomes 0, and if the denominator of irrational function is equal to 0, then that function is undefined. So therefore, the domain from negative infinity to negative 4, union from negative 4 to positive infinity or all real numbers except x equals negative 4. Or we can write this one as x element of real numbers such that x is not equal to negative 4. Because if x is negative 4, this function becomes undefined. Then to find the inverse, so first replace f of x with y. So y equals 5 over x plus 4. Then interchange x and y, so y becomes x equals 5 over, so this x becomes y, then plus 4. Then to solve for y, so cross multiply, so multiply x times y plus 4, then equals 1 times 5, that's 5. Then simplify, so distribute x, so we have xy plus 4x equals 5. Then to solve for y, so we need to transpose this positive 4x to the right equals 5 minus 4x 
then divide by x to solve for y, so cancel, so y is equal to 5 minus 4x over x. Then replace this y with this inverse, so we have f to the power negative 1 of x equals 5 minus 4x over x. So this is now the inverse of this given rational function. Then to solve for the range from the inverse, so if x is equal to 0, then this function becomes undefined. So therefore, the range from negative infinity to 0, then union 0 to positive infinity. Or all real numbers except x equals 0. Then for this given, so to find the domain, so since the denominator contains a variable, so we need to equate this denominator to 0. So we have 2x minus 6 equals 0. Then to solve for x, so transpose becomes 6 and divide by 2. So therefore, x is equal to positive 3. So if x equals positive 3, so this denominator becomes 0. And if 0 denominator, this rational function becomes undefined. So therefore, positive 3 is not part of the domain. So we have now from negative infinity to positive 3, then union positive 3 to positive infinity. Or all real numbers except x equals positive 3. Or we can write this one as set of all x element of real numbers such that x is not equal to positive 3. Then to find the inverse, so uh, replace f of x with y then equals x plus 5 over 2x minus 6. Then interchange x and y, so y becomes x, and this x becomes y over 2y minus 6. Then solve for new y, so cross multiply. So we have x times 2y minus 6 equals y plus 5. Then simplify, so, so distribute, so we have 2xy, then minus 6x, then equals y plus 5. Then to solve for y, so all y on the left side, so we have this 2xy, Transpose this positive y becomes negative y, then equals, transpose this negative 6x becomes positive 6x, then plus 5. Then factor out y, so put y outside, so this becomes 2x, then minus, since there is 1 on y, so minus 1, then equals 6x. Plus 5. Then divide both sides by this 2x minus 1. Divide by 2x minus 1. Cancel. So y now is equal to 6x plus 5 over 2x minus 1. Then replace now this y with this inverse function. So, f to the power negative 1 of x is equal to 6x plus 5 over 2x minus 1. So, this is now the inverse of this rational function. Then, to find the range, so using the inverse, so since the denominator is 2x minus 1, so we need to equate this one to 0. So, from the denominator 2x minus 1 equals 0, then to solve for x, so we have 2x equals transpose, that's positive 1. Then divide by 2, so therefore x 
is equal to 1 half. So if x is equal to positive 1 half, so this rational function becomes undefined. So therefore, the range, so from negative infinity to positive 1 half, union to 1 half to positive infinity. Then for this given, so again to find the domain, so equate this denominator to 0, so we have 3x plus 4 equals 0, then solve for x, we have this negative 4, then divide by 3, so therefore x is equal to negative 4 over 3. So if x equals negative 4 over 3, so this rational function becomes undefined. So therefore the domain from negative infinity to negative 4 over 3, union negative 4 over 3 to positive infinity. Or all real numbers except x equals negative 4 over 3. Or we can write this one as set of all x element of real numbers such that x is not equal to negative 4 over 3. Then to find the inverse, so replace f of x with y. So y equals 2x minus 1 over 3x plus 4. Then interchange x and y. So y becomes x and x becomes y. So 2y minus 1 over 3y plus 4. Then solve for new y. So cross multiplication. So we have x times 3y plus 4. Then equals 2y minus 1. Then simplify. So distribute. So this one is 3xy, then plus 4x, then equals 2y minus 1. Then all y's on the left side, so we have 3xy, then transpose this 2y becomes negative 2y, then equals, so transpose this positive 4x, becomes negative 4x then minus 1 then factor out y so put y outside so we have now 3x then minus 2 then equals negative 4x minus 1 then to solve for y divide both sides by 3x minus 2 divide by 3x minus 2 so y is equal to negative 4x minus 1 over 3x minus 2. Then replace this y with this inverse. So we have f to the power negative 1 of x is equal to negative 4x minus 1 over 3x minus 2. So this is now the inverse of this rational function. Then to solve for the range, so using the inverse, so we need to equate first this denominator to 0. So we have 3x minus 2 equals 0. Then to solve for x, so we have 3x, so transpose, positive 2, then divide by 3. So therefore x is equal to 2 over 3. So if x is equal to positive 2 over 3, so this rational function becomes undefined. So therefore the range, so from negative infinity to positive 2 over 3, then union 2 over 3 to positive infinity, or all real numbers except positive 2 over 3.